welcome back to another unboxing and this time we are doing Lilywai, my last figure which I got from Ami Ami or not uh, as you can see it's a different figure than the one I mentioned and mentioned in the other or previous videos before uh, cause I got another package uh, this time from Amazon and I was really really hyped to get this figure this is Momohime from the game Oboru Muramasa um, manufactured by Alter which is down here and I got another one um, this is um, an android of Jack Skeleton and if I get it, or if I'm able to do it, uh, I will show the pictures here because I was a little bit stressed. Um, the Nandroid is not a figure of mine. I will gift it to a family member. So I wanted to pack it up and send the package so that it gets to her early enough and not too late. It's a Christmas present. And yeah, it's my first time buying figures from Amazon. I don't really like it because I'm never sure if it's a uh, counterfeit version or if it's the real one, but I got lucky enough. Um, they are both the original, they are not counterfeits. Uh, it was pretty fast and I'm pleased but I don't think I will do it again because Amazon is also always a little bit pricey. Um, and the story behind this figure is I saw her the first time on Amiami and it's she was released in her first form in 2010, then re-released 2013 in this Eurun Naoshi form, which is more um, the colors are not so bright and like the first version. I'm missing the English word here right now. But anyway, and I found oh, I fallen in love with this figure. And when I got or when I put her under my card and wanted to pay, she was already sold out, which was a bummer. So I didn't get her at that time and then I was searching for another option and I found her on Amazon and I got her there and then I found out Ami Ami had her again into stock and it was crazy and then she sold out again and uh, it, it was a hassle. Anyway, I paid a little bit more than Ami Ami would have purchased. But I am happy to have her, another short girl, and she's so pretty. It's a 1-8 scale, done by the sculptor Fukumoto Noritaka and painted by Hoshina Emi. And as I told, it's the Oronoshi form. And so this is the front. I'm sorry for the glare of the plastic. Uh, you can see the figure in the fan uh, window because when you go over here on this side there's another picture of the figure and the text again with all the information alter of the masses fans at the top on the back is another fan uh, window and no pictures here and here again, another picture of the figures at the bottom. There are all the information and the logo that's real, or the sticker. So, and the top is another fan. So let's get her out of her box.
So that's the description how to get everything done, how to fix everything, putting on the arms and hands. Yeah, I think we will figure it out. And that's her in her blister package. She is a beauty. I love the paint job of this figure. So let's open the blister. I'm sorry, I really uh, <laughs> knocked over my camera. <laughs> so, yeah, I have her open. Oh, I hate these plastic packages. Did I not get this? Like three on one side? Really? Well, I alter. So, of course, when there are three on one side, they have three on the other side. Sorry for the noise. And I hope you can hear me. Soon. So, finally. It's uh, out of the way. And we will start with this pretty base. Which is gorgeous! Look at the stones and the water and it's clear plastic. Oh no, raisin. Raisin maybe or PVC. I'm not exactly sure which material it is. But it looks so nice! And a metal rod to support the figure. Really nice. And, uh, and it's a fast moving water stream with a lot of foam. It's so cute and so small and on the back side is just the information which year made in China. Sorry for the glare. Really nice. I hope when I get a detox at one point I can put her with my other sword girl. Mura, Mura, Ma. No, I always get the names wrong so sorry about that so we have her hand where are they i don't know how it's called in english but here you can put the katana inside there's even a hole nice detail the gold looks gorgeous and the purple i absolutely am a sucker for purple stuff it's my favorite color and black and nice and her hands are so much detail. She has all pink nail polish. So next we go to the katana. The handle is a nice orange with a little bit of yellow inside and really nice detail on the blade which you can't see because of the glare, I'm sorry. I will do the close-ups with my phone again. Really nice and so long and oh my gosh, so much detail. I love it. Altar figures are always the best. These are, this is my second altar figure. Really nice and smooth. The gradient of the color darker on the outside. And lighter in the inside. Really cute. So then we have another part of her. Um, oh, I'm missing the word. It's her yukata, not kimono. Not sure how the short one is called. Uh -huh. It's really sweet, nice color with a little shiny finish. And I need to move my light a little bit. And you see the different uh, flowers. Really sweet on both sides. The 
folds are really pretty um, shaded and nice and oh, absolutely adored and there's our main figure with a lot of plastic on it how could it not be little savers oh that nice okay let me move this up away So here she is. She still has still has a little bit of plastic on her. Well, I think I move, need to move the hand somehow to get it out. So I need to open this anyway. Can I move this out? Yeah. I should be able to because I have another sleeve. Oh, that's the word which I was searching for. Come on! Ah, great. Oh, so nice. This is her other hand. Also, this nicely painted pink fingernails, which you can't see in this camera because it's a GoPro. So sorry about that, but I will show you with my phone later. Sweet. And the other sleeves, it looks the same. So let's move this to the side. And we need to remove the plastic from here. And I have no idea, can I move this hand? I... No. You can only remove the hand, not the complete arm. So, and there's the hand. <laughs> that was easy. Her sweet hand. So detailed and nice, and they look gorgeous. Gorgeous little hands. So, let's remove the plastic out of the way. And there she is. Gorgeous little girl. And this is different from the normal version. In the normal version, it's a really uh, bright purple, and this is much more settled, or I, I don't know the English word for mud. Um, oh, really nice detail on the shoes. I love it. Look at this. I don't think it's really comfortable to wear them. But it's great. Oh, the panty shot and a nice S. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yellow flowers on her obi with a nice bow in the back. Purple stitches on her armor. Really nice. No paint issues, which I can see for now. The obo is gorgeous. Super cute, super adorable. Her face looks amazing. It has this nice paint job on it. Oh, I will show it with the phone later. Because I have no focus, I think. Yeah. Really well done. Nice expression. The flowers are so pretty and detailed and everything is done so well. Her, um, how's it called? Her hair ornament is really nice. It has a lot of little flowers on it. So cute. And her twin tails. Her hair is done also gorgeously. A little bit pointy on each side and super cute. So let's put her together.
get a good view of her. Come on a little bit. So. And that's her fully assembled. So this is the first version where she's pulling the sword, the katana out of his cheek. She. She. Hmm. Yeah. Really cute. I, I think I will go with the other option. And it's not so obvious here. It's okay. You're supposed to display her like this, I think. Just fucking gorgeous. So. Sweet girl. Very good. So, then let's do the other one. Where she's not putting the sword inside the sheet. The sword. Sword. Ah, I love this option. And there we will move, which I paint and put inside. Ha! The other sleeve. So, let's put it back on. And it dropped off. Of course, it dropped off. Hiya! Not as bad as the other one. No. That's option number two, and that's will and that this will be how I will display her the unsheeted sword. Absolutely love this dynamic pose. Beautiful paint job. Se uh, wonderfully done, Alta. Just can't recommend. I can just recommend it. She's a one eighth. Uh, next to my <laughs> Miko Price figure, she's a little, a little bit dwar dwarfed. Dwarfed. Hmm. She's smaller or oh, shorter. Also, the height is somehow the same, but Miko is a pretty. Um, white face whereas hers is really small but it's okay she looks great she's a nice outfit and i love the katana i'm a sucker for figures with katana and this really japanese feeling to it Really love it. I didn't play the game, um, and I'm right now not sure which on which you play this, if computer or PSP or whatever. So then I will do a few close-ups with my phone, and I'll see you with the next one, which will be hopefully this time. <laughs> Lily wine. So until next, bye bye.